Hello, I am Brett from Bearded Man Studios, and today I'll be talking about the current RPC sender. The current RPC sender is the person or player who has called an RPC on a simple networked mono behavior derivative. So, what that means is if a player or person is calling RPC or authoritative RPC, they would get this current RPC sender um, object sent as well as uh, synced over so that you know who sent this RPC at the time that it has been received. So the current RPC sender is a way for you to um, get the information of which player has interacted with what object as the RPC has been called over. So to do so we're going to just make an RPC and we're going to make our brpc attribute at the top, do private void, R, um, we'll call this rpc sender test. And we're going to just pass in a string of, let's say, text. And from here, we're going to debug log our current rpc sender we're going to have his name come in, current RPC sender, and network ID plus, and then our message that was sent. All right. So we're just going to do an RPC up here, RPC. You're going to copy this method over. And then the parameters, I'm just going to say, um, hello world. All right. So as this is being sent, I know for a fact as a host that the current RPC sender should be myself and the ID of myself is zero as a host. I'm always going to be zero. Now if a client is the one calling the RPC, this RPC sender is going to be zero. So let me hit, uh, or rather let it compile and then I'm gonna hit play and then as I host, when it allows it, there we go. As I host, it'll say our current RPC sender, zero, and then my text that I sent over is hello world. Now, if I were to build and run, and a client, now that I have uh, the RPC called whenever it's instantiated, so the server and client is gonna call this. So if I hit uh, on my client, if I make the client that I just built, be another client that joins the host and make the editor the host, you'll see that on the editor it will say our current RPC sender is zero, hello world, and then as the client joins in it will say our current RPC sender one, uh, hello world. So I'm gonna hit play, and I hit host, I got our first one, so obviously the host has sent hello world. Now as the client, I'm gonna hit join. And as you can see, it says our current RPC sender one hello world. And the reason why you're seeing this called, or rather uh, being sent three times is because of the fact that I'm just doing it whenever it's created, not necessarily because I'm the owner of it. So what happened here is that on the object that I created myself locally, it sent the RPC in the, the the client itself. It created two of them in here, and those two got the RPC call as well. That's why you got three of them. But the RPC caller is player one, which is the client who just joined. Now, if I were to do an is owner check at the top, and do it before the RPC, if I am the owner of this object, then send the RPC, I should only see two of these. So I'm gonna hit play to stop it, and I'm gonna build and run again. Let it do its thing. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing of having the host be the host on the editor and the client of what I built be the client that joins. So as I hit host server, you'll see hello world. And then on the client, I'm gonna join in. 
And as you can see, I only got my two calls because it's only one of those objects is owned by that client as he joins and as me as the server I do not have the control of this one because I am not the owner of it because the client instantiated it so as you can see here I have my center zero of the server at the time that I first came into the scene and as the client join it is one and it has said hello world as well so that is how you get or use the current RPC sender to give you more information and get more information about the player that called the particular RPC. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.